Tonight, a Newport News family is balancing heartbreak and frustration after their daughter had a medical emergency at school. Yeah, the 16 year old passed out at Menchville High School this week and died before she arrived at the hospital. Our Michelle Wolf joins us tonight after speaking with her family. Michelle, how'd they describe her? Yeah, 16 year old Kalia Jones was a bright light who had big goals. Her mom tells me she had a documented heart condition. Her family reviewed video of the day she died and wants to know why was there a nine minute delay in the teen receiving CPR? There was nothing unusual about Tuesday, February 20th. Kiana Stewart says the day started off as it did every weekday. Her daughter Kalia Jones had breakfast, then went to school. 109 p.m. My daughter passed out at school. Stewart says the school called her boyfriend, telling him Jones fainted in the hallway. She had bradycardia and she recently had a surgery, and so they were aware of that and were given documentation. Stewart met the ambulance at the hospital, where she found out her daughter had no pulse. She later viewed video from that day. Security showed up quickly. The nurse showed up around two minutes. Stewart says her daughter lay on the ground for nine minutes before CPR was rendered by a police officer. I don't understand why the nurse would stand by and not do her job to assist my baby. That's what, that's the part that, that hurts the most. She just laid there without help. So, so she got a coat towel and a pat on the back when she was dying. A spokesperson for Newport News Public Schools told us every teacher, administrator, security officer and school nurse is trained in CPR as required by the state. Every school is equipped with a defibrillator and each high school has three. The district told us an AED was brought out and when EMTs arrived, one was used. Newport News Public Schools confirmed a school resource officer who was a sworn police officer started CPR on Jones and that a nurse assisted. We asked how long it took before CPR was given and were told by the district spokesperson she did not have that information. Stewart spoke with us along with her two sisters, Portia Frank and Shondell Cross from California. Frank is a registered nurse. All of those students are your patients. Every single person on this campus let her down. They failed. Cross works with the American Heart Association. I teach third grade and my kids in third grade are learning to do hands only CPR. While the family searches for answers, they hold on to 16 years of memories. Jones was an avid baker and wanted to be a marine biologist. She was super smart and creative and always happy. It's just bubbly, happy kid. I want to make sure that this entire community, this school district, the states, the United States, whoever we can get across to, hears her story and that changes are made in her name. Kalia's family is hosting a candlelight vigil tomorrow night at Riverview Farm Park. It's scheduled to begin at 5 p.m. across from Menchville High School. In the studio, Michelle Wolf did on your side.